Good morning brothers and sisters, my name is Eric and today I'm going to be sharing about obedience um, which is a very very important uh, principle for us as believers. So what is obedience? Obedience um, a lot of the times especially in the Christian perspective is aligning our lives, our actions, our hopes, our aspirations and dreams with God's. Sometimes we might have plans of our own but and I think my late mother used to always say that obedience is better than sacrifice. So it's super, super important for us to um, ensure that our lives, our hopes, our aspirations align with God's. And the Bible is littered with stories of people that were asked to obey him, to ask to obey God, even when it wasn't possible, maybe it wasn't very, very easy. So one very notable example is Abraham. And Abraham was extremely, and he demonstrated his willingness to obey God's command to sacrifice his son. Remember Isaac um, was a son who um, Abraham and Sarah had really, really prayed for. And they had really, really um, devoted their time to, and, and at some point maybe they even thought it wasn't going to, it wasn't going to be. Um, that they weren't going to get a son. But Abraham, Abraham's obedience demonstrated his unwavering faith and trust in God, even in the face of a deeply challenging request. God um, uh, gives us that example as a reminder that obedience is rooted in our relationship with him and our understanding of his sovereignty. So as Christians, we believe that God's commandments and teachings are meant to guide us towards a life that reflect his love and purpose. Obedience in this context is an act of worship, an acknowledgement that God's wisdom surpasses our own and that his ways are higher than ours. Through obedience, we show our love for God by heeding his guidance and living according to his standards. Obedience plays a huge role in spiritual growth. The Bible says uh, that, uh, and we're given the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament, right? Um, but Jesus Christ came and said that he didn't come to overturn the law. We've been given laws, we've been told do not kill, do not steal, do not murder, do not envy. God did not, Jesus Christ did not come to overturn those laws, but he's come just to add on to them and show us um, that through accepting uh, his son as our Lord and personal Savior, that we can have a communion with Christ. So obedience is a very, very important spiritual concept um, that we must all um, uh, be willing to submit ourselves to. We must obey um, not just our Creator, but we should we should also obey authority figures, right? Um, the Bible says in Second Timothy chapter one, um, verse one and two. Um, Therefore, to, ex to offer prayers and supplications to rulers and those in authority in our lives. Rulers and those in authority of our lives could be our parents, could be our teachers, could be the law, it could be our government. We must, such, and it goes on further to say, to make supplications and prayers for these people such that it might be well with us, such that we may live a life in all quietness and holiness, right? So it's super, super important for us as believers to recognize that um, we have a role to obey God's commandments, but we also have a role to obey rulers and those in authority of our lives. Pray and pray for them. Pray for them such that it might be well with us. Um, and I'll just go on and continue reading. And essentially, um, this transformation uh, is not just about conforming to a set of rules, but allowing God to shape our character, refine our hearts, and mold us into better versions of ourselves. So obedience is intimately tied to the idea of stewardship, and as stewards of God's creation, we are entrusted with responsibilities that extend beyond ourselves. Hallelujah. Through obedience, we take care of God's gifts, whether it's our relationships, our resources, or talents, and utilize them for His glory. God doesn't want just to bless you for your own sake, 
but he wants to bless you such that you can become an epistle, such that people may look at your life and say that indeed there is a God in heaven, such that someone can look at your, the situation maybe that you find yourself in and boldly testify through the testimony of your life, through the testimony of your, your current predicaments, that indeed it's only God that um, delivered him. Right? Uh, in the New Testament, Jesus serves as the ultimate example of obedience. Jesus Christ, who was the Son of God, humbled himself to even to death, even to um, even to death, right? To fulfill God's redemptive plan. His obedience demonstrated his selfless love for humanity and paved the way for our salvation. So obedience as a Christian is not a restrictive or a burdensome concept, but essentially it's something we should even delight in. We should delight in God's commandments. We should delight in his laws. We should delight in doing the right thing. And God is faithful and he's assured us that he will walk with us. He will not leave us. He will not, he will not forsake us. Amen. So obedience is an expression of our faith and it is a catalyst for spiritual growth and a means to honor God in all aspects of our existence. Thank you very much.